Hello friends. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to work with sequencer and bounce keyframe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to see the next videos. I will create a new layer and change its name to ball. I draw a circle with the shape tool. I change its location with the select point tool and place the origin in the circle center. I select the select point tool again and place the slider in frame 1. I click on the circle to create a keyframe. I put the slider at frame 48 and drag the ball down to create movement for the ball. To make the ball hit the ground several times, I select all keyframes. I right click on one of the keyframes and select the bounce option. In this section, we can change the bounce count and its scale. Using hold duration, we can determine how long the ball stops at the beginning of the movement. I return the hold duration option to zero. Now to work with the sequencer part, I take 5 copies of the ball and change their location with the transform layer tool. I change their color. I hit the play button and you can see that all the balls move from frame 1 at the same time. But sometimes in animation, we need one or more layers to start moving in different frames that we determine. In these cases, we use the sequencer. So I enter the sequencer section, you can see that all the layers exist in this section as well. By left clicking and dragging I set the starting location of the layers over time. Now I press the play button again, you can see that the balls start to move in the time and frame that I set. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until the next tutorial, goodbye for now.